the start by assuming there are two different possible realities. In one reality, the world is deterministic and not random. What appears random to us is actually just because we have a lack of information. There are hidden variables that will secretly determine the outcomes of our measurements before an experiment reveals that information to us. In the other reality, there is a real randomness in particle behaviors. Nature is fundamentally indeterminate until a measurement is made to make it real and well-defined. Each scenario has implications for our real world that can be tested. It turns out that there's a subtle difference in the expected probability of our measurements in each scenario. The difference is captured in a special relationship called the Bell inequality. Simply speaking, the Bell inequality can be used to predict the likelihood of measuring a particle's spin in a particular orientation if there are underlying hidden variables. This prediction actually differs from the prediction made by quantum mechanics about the likelihood of measuring the particle spin assuming no hidden variables. Thus, the two hypotheses can be tested and distinguished from each other. This experiment was actually conducted in 1964, and the results have been called one of the greatest discoveries in the history of physics. The outcome of the experiment proved conclusively that we do not live in a universe that is governed by particles containing predefined hidden variables. The Bell inequality was violated. Instead, we live in a universe where the states of particles are indeterminate until they are measured. Moreover, as strange as it sounds, entangled particles are somehow connected to each other, even over vast distances. In other words, quantum mechanics is fundamentally non-local. The idea that only nearby phenomenon and my surrounding environment is what influences objects in the universe is not true. There is a correlation and instantaneous assignment of particle states between particles, which is unaffected by the limit imposed by the speed of light in space-time.